Great. Mm, any ideas how I could potentially try to bypass this? Because there's, there's, there's always a way to, uh, to bypass uh, things, <laughs> unfortunately. So uh, here what I'm trying to do is to perform uh, a path reversal. Uh, and what I want to do here is to know a little bit more about the architecture and if I can find any interesting uh, files. So what I could do potentially is actually uh, URL encodes uh, the, um, the dot dot slash. So URL encoding is basically, I'm going to replace the dot with percent to E and the slash with a percent to F. So if I'm going back to public and I'm going to put this, so I've actually uh, encoded this. Oh, look at that. I did actually bypass the, um, as the sensation that it was uh, in place. Cool. So as you can imagine, there's way more information now that, that's really cool. And you can imagine for, uh, for potentially a malicious actor, this is a great opportunity for that person to understand uh, what is going on with this, this application. So what do we have here? We have the, uh, the routes, okay? So there's a little bit more info on different routes. What else do we have? Okay, there's literally all of the, uh, the API logic uh, here. What else do we have? Deploy Heroku. Uh, this is great. This is giving us information on the deployment process. <laughs> How convenient is that? Um, then the Docker Compose YAML file. Oh, look at that. Plain text uh, creds. That's cool. 